When Boris Johnson came to see uh, Emmanuel Macron, I think about 10 days ago, I got to ask him a question and I asked him specifically, this was after he came from uh, seeing the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. I told him, you know, what is your concrete new alternative to backstop? A very simple question. Mm. He dodged the question. Yeah. I followed up. When I, he tried to answer the question I'd asked President Macron. I said to him, yes, but on the concrete backstop. And he gave me kind of a, a cop out answer. Maybe he's trying to keep his cards close, but I think it's time for things to get clearer. And it doesn't seem to be very clear at this stage in the negotiation. Maybe that's their approach. I mean, I'm with you on the fact that things can change. Maybe the positions will evolve on both sides, but... And does it have to do with the backstop or does it have to do with pandering to uh, the wing of his party, which uh, is hard Brexit or bust? Well, there's that. Of course, he's, I mean, obviously, and you can't blame him for that. He's, he's, a, he's an elected official in a democracy. He must reflect those positions. You also have to think about why is Brexit important, uh, why is the backstop important? President Macron, in one of his um, press conferences lately, talked about peace in Ireland and how important peace in Ireland is for the continent. And I think that maybe we are not paying enough attention to that as well. It's not just about Macron playing tough guy. You know, it has to do with also the recent history of Europe.